Hey y'all, it's Jamie again with another verse of the day devotional. Yesterday I posted Matthew 28, 10. Well, the first half of it. Then Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. Now, Matthew 28 uh, contains the famous Great Commission. Let me read that for you real quick. Then the 11 disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. So, Great Commission, Matthew 28. There it is, right at the end of the chapter. But prior to this, we see two other examples of people being told, go and tell. First is the angel at Jesus' tomb, uh, and second is Jesus himself telling the women to go and tell the disciples that he had risen from the dead. Now, that's the second half of Matthew 28.10. So the entirety of it reads, Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. So the women received an instruction, go and tell, go and tell my brothers. But prior to that, Jesus says, do not be afraid. This is absolutely crucial. Sharing the good news can be scary. How will others receive our message? Uh, will they laugh at us? Will they judge us? Will they be angry at us? Will we lose friends over telling people about Jesus and the gospel? Being a witness requires courage, uh, which the Holy Spirit will provide when we are faithful to him. This chapter, Matthew 28, ends with Jesus commanding his disciples to go and make disciples of the world. But you cannot skip over the bookends of this message, of the Great Commission itself. Jesus begins by saying that all authority has been given to him, and he ends with telling the disciples that he is always with them. Jesus is the source of comfort and strength. This is why his disciples should not fear and why we shouldn't either. So don't be afraid. Go and tell everyone you know about the good news that Jesus is risen. Let me pray. Dear Lord, thank you for this beautiful day. Lord, help us see the strength that you have given us, Lord. Help us push aside our fear, our worry, our anxiety about talking to others about you, Lord. Help us spread your love. Help us spread the news about you, that there is a future with you, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, I will catch you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>